Welcome back to Pro Vibe Garage. I am Jamie and this is Mara. And today I am going to start rebuilding the headlight actuators. So to start, uh, I've had this car now about 11 months. You've seen me build pretty much from the ground up. Not long ago in my last video, I redid the grill and now I'm gonna take that grill back out and start working on these. Now, the pods, I think this one is uh, its leaking. The other one still seems to be good, but I don't have the vacuum canister. Uh, I've heard tale that the new motors, such as the 392 Hemi that I wanna put in there, don't produce the proper amount of vacuum for a vacuum pod or actuator to work properly. So I went ahead and bought the electric uh, conversion kit. Um, again, I will post that website and where I bought it from uh, in the description below. But for now, uh, I've already started uh, rebuilding these, uh, sanded those down, gave them a shot of primer, paint, and clear coat. So now I am going to take the pods out and replace that with the electric uh, actuator. All right, so it's the next morning. Uh, I had to wait because yesterday it set out for delivery. Usually my mailman comes by 11 at the latest. They came after dinner time yesterday and uh, yeah, it started raining, so I didn't get any work more, uh, any more work done on that yesterday. But today, I opened it up. Nice, easy to follow instructions. Explains what to do and pictures. You are gonna get control box, two actuators with the brackets, bag of nuts, bolts, everything you'll need. Yeah, lots of wire. There's a wire splice in there. We'll see. Um, I haven't done this. I'm learning to. So now I've got my brackets empty and I am gonna start installing these onto this. The reason I'm taking that out to put this in is because I cannot get this on the side of the headlight uh, doors without it being out of the car. So I'll assemble this and then I'll put it in there. All right, so it says to remove the pods, already done. Leave the clips, remove the old screws. Install the silver pivot bracket with Phillips head provided. That would be this little bad boy. Okay. Got it. Now got that. Install the actuator in place of the brackets, nuts and bolts provided. These guys.
I don't see anything saying forward or backwards, so I guess it's universal. We'll see one day. And secure the wire. And now this guy put that little bolt through and tighten the nut. So far, so good. I don't know what's gonna actually keep that from flopping or if it's even gonna make a difference. We'll get to the other one. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy to follow. Uh, I've got to now throw these onto the headlight doors. Uh, so I'm gonna take the grill out and then get these installed, put the grill back in. Hopefully that goes well. All right, so when I was in the car, there was no room for me to get this into here. So now it's out. I got my mounting bracket. That'll be attached. These will get up into there. I might have to eventually replace these. These are the original ones. In a previous video, I said that this was new. I was wrong. It was this piece that is new. This is all original. And the doors themselves are the original ones. Um, they're okay shape. They are, you can see here, a little broken. So I'm gonna try and button that up a little bit and hopefully they will stand up for a while. You can see that one's broken too. So hopefully they'll stand up for a while, but if not, I'll get some new doors. Ran into another problem. The headlight bracket, this whole thing here has to come out. Seems to always come down to installation when you find something you've done wrong when you don't know what you're doing. So now, got the core support out. Headlight, whole assembly, don't know what it's called, but got that out. Now I'll put the grill in and then everything in behind it like I should have done to begin with. Didn't know, but we'll figure it out.
All right, so learn from my mistake. I got this all back together. Now throw it back in the car and adjust everything. Put all the bolts back where they were. All right, got it all mounted back in place. Everything's adjusted. Uh, still some screws to tighten up, but next thing to do is to wire up the control box, which I won't do right now, just because I'm not ready for that. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. This will hook up to the wire coming out of the actuators, bring it through the firewall somewhere under the dash. You're gonna find a ground a constant power source, and then with the uh, um, provided wire splice, you're going to attach that to the light green wire coming out of the dimmer switch, or going to the dimmer switch. That'll be another time for me, I don't have a battery. Um, I should get one soon so I can test things and finish wiring the stereo, etc. Pretty straightforward project if you're looking to do the same kind of thing. Um, Topher McGinnis, the headlight motor man, give him a call. Uh, I will, like I said, post a link to his website in the description. For now, I am done and hope you enjoyed that. If you have, like the video, subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, check me out on Instagram, provibe underscore garage. And hopefully I'll see you all next time. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.